Hi everyone. So today, I want to talk about something uh, very educational. Uh, something that I found that um, is very interesting and has always been mind blowing, and that is big numbers. So, what's a big number? So, for a lot of people, I think they would say maybe a million. A million is one followed by six zeros, or you can write it as ten to the power of six in scientific notation. So a million can be used to describe um, the price of a house um, or the net worth of a person or maybe the population of a city. So a good example of one million that you can find in your daily life is a 720p screen. So in a 720p screen, you have 1280 times 720 pixels, which is roughly around 1 million pixels. So if you look at your phone screen or computer screen, the number of pixels on that screen is around 1 million. If you want to count to a million, Assuming you can count one number per second, it would take around 12 days to count to 1 million. Um, assuming you, you don't take any breaks. So the next big number, I think most people would say is a billion. So a billion is one followed by nine zeros or 10 to the power of nine um, which is also equivalent to 1000 million so a million times a thousand is one billion if you want to count to a billion it would take around 32 years um, assuming you can count one number per second uh, without taking any breaks. So a billion can be used to describe um, like the net worth of Bill Gates, which is around, I think around nine, 90 billion right now. Or uh, you can use it to describe um, the GDP of a small country or the population of the world, which is around 7.6 billion. And the next big number after a billion would be a trillion, which is one followed by 12 zeros, or 10 to the power of 12, which is 1,000 billion. So a trillion can be used to describe the GDP of the United States or even the world. Um, or you can use it to describe um, the number of stars in the Milky Way. I think a trillion is probably the biggest number in most people's mind. So what comes after a trillion? Well, we have quadrillion, which is 10 to the power of 15. And we have quintillion, which is 10 to the 18, and etc. So when can we use these big numbers. So let's look at some examples. 
So the number of ants on Earth is estimated to be around 10 quadrillion, which is around 10 to the power of 16. And then um, for quintillion, one example would be the number of grains of sand on earth, which is around 10 to the power of 18. So whenever you go to the beach, have you ever think about how many grains of sand on that particular beach? And what about the total number of grains of sand on earth? I think most people could never imagine that number. So a quintillion is a pretty big number. Although a quintillion is a very big number, it is obviously not the biggest number. I mean, well, it's the number of grains of sand on earth, but a grain of sand is made up of atoms. So the number of atoms on earth must be much bigger than a quintillion. But now um, let's talk about uh, something else before we get to the number of atoms on earth. So let's look at um, how many stars are there in the observable universe. So the number of stars in the observable universe is estimated to be around 10 to the 22nd to around 10 to the 24, which is one for 10 to the power of 22 is one followed by 22 zeros and 10 to the power of 24 is 1 followed by 24 zeros. So um, these numbers are much bigger than a quintillion. That means there are many more stars in the observ observable universe than the number of grains of sand on Earth. So I think that's pretty mind-blowing. But what's even more mind-blowing is that this number, I mean, this number is the number of stars in the observable universe. But this number is also equivalent to the number of atoms in just 10 drops of water. So that means the atoms, the number of atoms in just 10 drops of water is already equal to the total number of stars in the observable universe. So I find that is pretty crazy, right? But What's a number that is even bigger than 10 to the power of 24? So the number of atoms in a human body is around 10 to the 27. So the number of atoms in your body is at least 1,000 times more than the number of stars in the observable universe. So, you know, it's very crazy. So now, let's get back to the number of atoms on Earth. So, so the number of atoms on in a human body is about 10 to the 27. And the number of atoms on Earth is around 10 to the 50. So it's a very, very big number. 
and then what's a number bigger than this well the next big number is 10 to the power of 80 which is the number of atoms or the number of particles in the observable universe so this number is 1 followed by 80 zeros so if you want to write out this number you have to write 1 and then you have to write 80 zeros after it so it's a very big number but um, it's not the biggest number of course but um, that's basically the biggest number that uh, you would normally use uh, in physics or, or I mean in the universe um, well we can keep on going actually so the next big number is 10 to the power of 90 so um, what can we use with this number so if you just imagine um, the whole observable universe is just filled with grains of sand so this is the number of grains of sand that could fit in the observable universe so just imagine the whole observable universe is just grains of sand there's no gaps so and you may ask why did this number is bigger than this I mean sand are made up of atoms well because the universe is not full of atoms the universe like most of the universe is just empty space so um, yeah so that's why if you fill in the whole observable universe with just grains of sand it will be more than the number of atoms exist in our observable universe so the last number I want to talk about today is 10 to the power of 100 so actually this is a uh, pretty famous number and there's a name of it and it's called a Google so well actually there's a story behind it so the company Google is actually named after this big number um, it's a misspelling of this number so yeah I think it's a very interesting fact so 10 to the power of 100 is a Google um, which is 1 followed by 100 zeros so if you want to write it out you have to write 1 and then you have to write 100 zeros after it so this is a very big number it's bigger than anything that we've talked so far but um, well even a Google is not the biggest number so um, so after a Google actually so after a Google is 10 to the 10 to the 100 so this number is called a Googleplex so a Googleplex is 10 to the power of a Google so Google and Googleplex um, many people I mean they belong to a to the same family we call it the, the Google family and a Googleplex is a very 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 big number so how big it is actually you cannot even write it out um, on a piece of paper or 
doesn't matter how many pieces of paper actually we couldn't write this number in our observable universe why because a googleplex is one followed by a google amount of zeros so which is one and you have to write a google of zeros and remember the number of particles in the observable universe is just 10 to the 80 that means if you want to write out a googleplex even you can write each zero in one particle you there's still not enough particles in the universe to write it down so that means in other words a googleplex has more zeros in it than the number of atoms in the observable universe so this kind of give you an idea how big this number is like you couldn't even write it down there's not enough space in the observable universe for you to write out the number googleplex but of course this is the easy i mean this is how we write it in uh, in terms of uh, you can say in scientific notation or power tower um, another uh, uh, thing that uh, i find it very interesting about this number is um, it was actually uh, talked about uh, in a number file video um, which is um, if you actually travel across i mean you, you travel uh, in a universe that is as big as a Googleplex meters so if if our universe is a Googleplex meters across and you know what you can actually find an exact copy of yourself so I find this really really mind-blowing so like people a lot of people keep asking are there any aliens or intelligent life in our universe but actually if our universe is as big as a googleplex meters across well you know what you can even you can find an identical an identical copy of yourself so forget about aliens you know <laughs> so that's give us an idea how big a googleplex is well i mean googleplex is a very big number but of course is not even close to the biggest number so in the next video we're gonna look at uh, a number that is much much bigger than a googleplex uh, which is Graham's number so we'll talk about that in the next video well thanks for watching have a nice day